So the next one down is implement. Again, to create new implements, just click on it. It'll give you the list of everything that you currently have installed or saved in that screen. Um, but again, if you want to create a new implement, it's just a new, the same as you would with a vehicle. First screen takes you to is select application or device. This is if you're doing um, rate and section control. Um, if you have it connected to TUVR, which is a Trimble Universal Variable Rate, um, then you click on that. You generally have the serial number of the um, virtual rate box that's available, and you'd select that one. But just for a normal implement, just leave it on none. That's fine, and then move to the next. Then select what type of implement it may be. So in this case, we'll do a seeding one. Just select air seeder there. Go on next, and you can give it a name at this at this point. So once you're giving it a name, just go next, and it'll ask you for the hitch type. So whether it's trailed or on the three-point linkage fixed mount. So we're just going to click on the fixed mount. And then it asks you to hitch the application point. So like the application point is basically if it's a mower bed, it's basically where your cutting knives are. If it's your one pass, okay, you have one more more than one row of cultures, but maybe just go to the middle of your cultures. So 2.5 meters back roughly. Go to next and it asks for the rest of the rest of the measurements. So the application width and the swath width are kind of the two critical ones. Um, the application width is the kind of the full full capabilities of the machine. So in this case, three meters. Um, but then you have the swath width, which is the one that gives you your line spacings in the field. So if you're wanting a slight overlap, if you're running a less accurate subscription, you can drop the actual swath width down slightly. So you can see the difference between the application width and the swath width, and that gives you your overlap. Again, left, right offset. So is the machine pulling central to the tractor? Obviously with one pass, they are, but just check if you've got any offsets with the cultivar or the linkage, you can just correct for it in there. Um, otherwise, if you're setting up a mower, then the mower is obviously off to the right hand side. So you'd put your right offset in there from the center of the tractor to the center of your cutting width. And then with your physical widths, just enter these, unless you have the feature such as neck swath, where the system's turning itself on the headlands, and it needs to know the size of the implements for the boundaries and not putting the implement to the hedge, then these aren't too critical, um, but just get them as near as you can. Just once you've done that, you move go to next and then the application control. Again, we don't have any application control with this machine, so we don't have to worry about that. And then it'll give you a summary. Once you're happy with the summary, just accept it. And I'll save the implement and bring it into the list. So the three meter one pass.